We do have that weather alert issued looking ahead by the day, by the time we're at tomorrow, wind gusts upwards of 40, 45 miles per hour already in that forecast with that significant fire weather. Then we have some winter weather ahead of us. That's all associated with the pattern change really up above our head. Today we we're dealing with a more zonal flow where your winds blow west to east. Not many kinks or knots in the winds aloft. With that, we stayed calm. We had plenty of sunshine and we did manage to stay dry for the day today. Now, Watch what happens when we do push future cast ahead. We go Friday into those Saturday overnight hours by Saturday afternoon. Already seeing some cooler Arctic air pulling down into the northwestern United States. By this time tomorrow, red flag warning will be in effect thanks to breezy conditions as well as significant downsloping winds. Very, very bone dry air expected for that day Saturday. That's something we're going to be keeping a very close eye on. Push this ahead even further. By Sunday into Monday, going to see this trough really digging just to our west. With that Arctic air, our first cold blast could be moving into the area by Sunday. Additionally, going to keep an eye on our first significant mountain snow, even the potential for a flake or two for that front range. So high elevation winter weather is expected for this weekend, mainly Sunday into Monday. Now, I-25 in the Plains, we have fire weather. We have significant winds upwards of 70 miles per hour for the Plains as we get into your day Sunday with that some blowing dust can't be rolled out and that fire weather also does linger into the day Sunday. So Futurecast GFS, here we are Saturday during 6 p.m. Watch when we push this ahead, though. We go Saturday night into Sunday. By Sunday morning, that's when we see the onset of some of those heavier snow showers for the higher elevation areas. Steady snow really lingers throughout the majority of your Sunday for the high elevation areas. Here we are Sunday, 4 p.m. Still seeing some steady snow falling. Push this ahead. By the time we get to Sunday evening into those overnight hours, starting to see those snow showers fall apart. Just a few lingering flurries can't be rolled out. This also is where you then keep an eye on how this energy behaves. We do have some disturbances to our south and if the storm quickly merges with that and it stays unorganized, not expecting much snow for your Monday. If it's a more slow phase together, then we could be looking at a little bit more snow for your Monday. This would include that Palmer divide. That's just the next piece that we're looking forward to in that extended outlook. As far as where this puts us with snow totals, Elk Mountains look like that hot spot right around that area. Upwards of a foot can't be ruled out. Very generally 6 to 12 inches for those higher elevation areas. So we will keep a close eye. It looks like the Sangre de Cristos will miss out uh, for the majority of this event. But for your day tomorrow, don't forget breezy conditions, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Comfortable though, plenty of sunshine out there. We do stay dry. 75 downtown Colorado Springs, 80s in that forecast in Pueblo. So again, those above average temperatures lingering in that forecast out towards the plains mid 80s even some uh, uh, mid 80s and low 80s in the forecast and plenty of sunshine dry weather is expected don't forget we do have this red flag warning in effect tomorrow from 11 a.m to 7 p.m so just be mindful with any activities that could potentially start a fire because very uh, critical conditions and favorable are expected seven day forecast woodland park 65 degrees for your day tomorrow remember winds pick up unsettled weather for your sunday few flurries possible Monday. This is what we're keeping a very close eye on. Additionally, throughout the region by Thursday, that's when our next winter lake disturbance could impact the region. So we do have a few rounds of unsettled weather headed our way here in Pueblo. Hazy conditions for Sunday. That's actually blowing dust with those wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour in that forecast. Again, maybe some precipitation on your Monday. That's why we're keeping a close eye on that current forecast, though. Significantly cooler temperatures Monday. We can guarantee you that 46 degrees. That forecast at high Colorado Springs. Going to keep an eye, though, guys, if we do see these two events kind of phase together slowly, maybe a few flakes fall in the downtown Springs area.